Good afternoon and welcome to the WEFTEC moderator training, which is an updated version from earlier this year for some of you who participated. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple things set up and then we are going to get started. Hopefully, okay. So I do have a couple slides that I want to kind of use to guide us through this afternoon's process. And let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully this works. Okay. So welcome again to WEFTEC Connect. This is the moderator information session on August 6, 2020. To help you guys kind of get going, because I know there's starting to become a lot of questions and we do provide a lot of information at any one given time. And this is completely new and different. So we need to help guide everyone through this. There are three main formats for educational content in the WEFTEC Connect platform. The first is the knowledge development forums. How do you know if you have one of those? Your title will say it. It will say knowledge development forum. So you just check your title and you'll know. We have about seven or eight, maybe nine, I can't remember the exact number, somewhere between seven and nine of those during the week that are extra special. Um, in that, they have a live Zoom component. So if you were to be a registered participant of WEFTEC Connect, you would come in and for instance, on Monday at four o'clock, we have our knowledge development forum on emerging waterborne infectious diseases scheduled. And you would go log in at four o'clock to WEFTEC Connect and there would be a link along with that session description and session title that would take you to the live Zoom and you're gonna go participate in an interactive, very highly engaging discussion. Um, you're not going to hear presentations during those, but you're going to have discussion. Presentations for some are pre-records, which we'll get to. Then we have our Ask the Expert sessions. These are, if you have gotten the at a schedule at a glance or your conference announcement, these are sessions that are numbered five through nine, and they have a, B, C, D after them accordingly. So we have 8A, Digital Solutions for Collection Systems. If you're a moderator of one of those, you should have heard from Susan, Martha, or myself already, and you will know that you have one of those. So if you aren't a Knowledge Development Forum or an Ask the Expert session who has already heard from staff, that means you are in our third bucket, not not unimportant at all, but it's just our kind of third catch-all, which is our on-demand sessions, our pre-recorded sessions. This is the vast majority of our content for WEFTEC, and this means that individual speakers are going to record 20-minute presentations and upload them to our presentation management system. And people starting on Monday, October 5th, will be able to access this content anytime that they want. Day or night, whenever they feel like for a full year in the West Tech Connect platform. They can watch them as a whole session or just one of the speakers that tickles their fancy. Um, no worries about that. Those are on demand. As a moderator, in your session description, I'll ask, it'll show format. If you have one of these, it says pre-recorded. You as a moderator do not need to group the presentations together. They need to come through as individual. You do not need to collect and upload them. Your speakers should. So we'll get into all of that um, detail. But those are three buckets. Knowledge development, ask the experts who've already heard from us, or on demand, which is the vast majority. So to help kind of through this process, there are two main places that you can find information as we go forward. The first is our website. We have resources for moderators, speakers, and on recording. And then the second one that I show here is our speaker portal. So we've got the website and the speaker portal. The two both contain valuable information, but slightly different. So I'm gonna go take you guys on a tour. So our website, let's go there first. If I can get to it. Here we go. If you come to weftech.org and you go to speak, you're going to see this presenter information. On here, there is a lot of good information and we really encourage you and your speakers to read it. I'm going to kind of take a moment and walk you guys through this whole process um, so you guys can see what our speakers would see and go through. So, 
First of all, we've got technical session speakers, technical session moderators, IKES, and presentation resources. These are the four tabs. Presentation resources is really about the videos. This is what they're going to need to do. So we're going to have information um, and where they're going to go to upload their video when drafts are due and final. Here is a license agreement that this is new. They're going to have to sign this year. Everyone who submits a video and is in this video needs to sign this license agreement. This is different than the paper one. So people have already done their paper. Now we've got the presentation. Very similar wording um, in the indemnity. The presentation, we have no rights to like a year hold or anything. This is just more um, a protection and making sure that everything is, you know, as a speaker, that what you put in your slides, you have the legal right to put in there and that you didn't just grab it off the internet and you're like, oh, it's the cute little image. Let me throw it out there. You need to make sure it was a copyright free image or that you have the copyright. And creation and guidelines. The tips for presenting at home is really quick PowerPoint read provided by our vendor who is creating West Tech Connect for us and I highly recommend it. We have our optional slide template, which I'm going to show you guys something in a minute about that and talk about it. And our presentation creation and guidelines. If you open this in a new link, Hopefully it did, and I'm gonna make sure you guys can still see my screen. Yep, okay. This document has everything someone needs to know about creating their video. Less is more, we talk about the presentation, and then we get into the video. Um, and a little bit on do's and don'ts. Um, Technical presentations are max of 20. Solution sessions, um, audio tips, recording suggestions. Um, the vendor's preference is Keynote, PowerPoint, and Zoom for your files, which is why we have information. You're welcome, though, to record anything as long as the output is an MP4. And then to Gigabytes is about what the system can handle uploading. If we get larger than that, you need to reach out to us. Um, there's lots of technical specs in here that I'm not going to pretend that I understand, but I hope you can. The main thing is we need an MP4 file. And this is all of the information. Encourage your speakers to read it. Okay. Next, I will go to more information here. You as moderators can come here and moderator to do. Please download your updated guidance packet. This helps you understand when your speakers have to upload anything and I want to really encourage you guys to do that. Then this is going to help you. Finding session info, step-by-step -step guide. I really encourage you to download this and use it. Um, I'm gonna walk you through how to do it in the speaker portal, but you might want this still. And then technical session speakers. We've got um, some information that's probably no longer relevant. We'll clean this up. We've created for them similar instructions for modifying their instructions step-by-step or not their instructions, but their authors, because that's what step they're on. And they may need some help with that. And we have their timeline, which you guys want to become very familiar with. A um, Couple highlights that I'm gonna share with you from their packet. Number one, to register for WEF Tech Connect is not required unless you are a knowledge development forum or an Ask the Expert who has a live time according to the schedule and you're know if you're those sessions because we've contacted you. Then your speakers do need to register and attend WEF Tech Connect um, so they can get in and do the chatting with the um, attendees and everything. But if you have just an on-demand slash pre-recorded session, no one is required to register. Encouraged, yeah, we love them to join because they will get so much value out of all the sessions, all the presentations, the networking, 
the access to exhibitors. Um, we have some fun things scheduled too throughout the week. It's not all business. We're really trying to bring as much of WEF Tech in person as we can to the virtual space. So I think that's one of the big ones. Again, I wanna highlight that this year we need to have a presentation release from all speakers for this and any deadlines that are coming up are here. Three big ones in August, aside from the videos, which are due. Bios need to be uploaded along with a photo by August 25th. The um, West Tech Connect portal has a really nice space for a 4,000 character bio. It is not meant to be a resume. It's meant to be a little bit jazzier than that um, in a photo of the speaker. And those two things will show next to their presentation. If they don't upload their photo, they're probably just gonna have like a little image, like a little bobblehead image kind of. That's the best way I can think to describe it. So they really wanna do that. And then the third thing I need is that presentation question. So these are five true and false questions that relate specifically to their presentation that they need to upload. This will be used in helping us gain continuing education credits. So they kind of form a test. Did someone pay attention? If watching this, can they answer this? So the two need to go together. And that's our website. On here, I also want to encourage you to um, come in here and dig around a little bit. There is a lot of great information here. Um, and I want to point this, if you come off the homepage, I'll show you guys how I did that again. Homepage, see what's planned. See, here, there is a calendar of the scheduled events at a glance. This would probably be really helpful. Um, you can browse the on-demand, you can see the scheduled events. This is where, another place that you can come see what you've got. Um, I really encourage you to come here if you're feeling a little like, what format do I have if you need a little guidance. So then the other place that you guys need to become very familiar with is our speaker portal. And I'm using test for the purposes of the day because I have a lot of things assigned to me and it's very similar. But you will go to speaker sign in, you will enter your WEF login and password. If you don't know that, please reach out to us or better yet, CSC at WEF.org can give you a reset. I want to um, tell you that your speakers and if you're a speaker yourself, you are going to be guided through process. It will not take you to these three um, flip cards right away. It will first take you, I think it's contact information, then bio, and then CV upload. Then they get to this page. So it, once they do those steps, they will come straight to this page that we're looking at right now, but until they do them. And I'll show you guys a couple important pages. Someone gets lost, you can always hover over dashboard or just wait in these three flip cards stop. Edit contact info is exactly what you think it is. Bio is exactly what you think it is. The introduction. And here's where they upload their photo. They can't do the bio without the photo anymore. The two are tied together, shall we say. If you click speaker portal, this is where it's going to take you. I'm giving you guys a preview shot. See this click here to upload your presentations? This is a highlight of how it's going to work. So this is actually going to appear in the live site sometime next week. And you will click on it and it'll take you to the presentation management system where the presentations will be uploaded. And remember, it's not to be a flat PowerPoint an actual video, whether it's PowerPoint, Keynote, or Zoom, or another MP4 format is up to you really in the speaker. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. You can click your session title and a lot of information comes up. As a moderator, you are going to see this license agreement. I'm going to take a pause here and let you know that this depends upon you as the moderator. You as moderator of any of the on-demand sessions pre-recorded have the option to um, 
record an up to 10 minute overview of this session. That's 10 minutes about the entire session. I would not focus on your speakers but rather talk about why the papers were selected, how they tie together, the value of the session. Don't forget in this platform, right as they're about to go into each presentation, it shows their picture and their bio. That's why I say you giving the bios isn't as helpful, but really giving an introduction of the session could be. You have up to 10 minutes. If you choose to do this, you need to sign this release. Um, it's optional, and the reason the committee has asked us to do this is so that if you would like some extra um, FaceTime because you've lost it this year, an acknowledgement for all the hard work you've done, this is a great way to do it. You do not have to feel obligated at all, totally up to you, and if you have problems, feel free to reach out to us at speakers at weft.org. So you're going to click this title. I'm going to make sure I'm still sharing my screen. Yes, I am. Good. So this is the title and this is your session overview that you and I'm using this one. So a couple things you need to look at as soon as you come in. Here's the title. Then I need to look down here. See this session format in virtual platform. This one says pre-record. What that means is that, again, this session is all about the individual pre-records on-demand content, which means if you come up and you see the time, date, a room, you can ignore all of that. We had to keep that in here so that um, everything feeds into presentation management and can be organized so that everyone can upload their presentations correctly and for the mobile app. A lot of the hierarchy and structure does still require these things. So again, if it says pre-record on demand, just pretend you don't have a date and time. The only time that might be helpful is if you come under presentations. We as staff have shortened everyone down to 20 minutes. Whereas originally they were given 30, we've now taken them down to 20 minutes. This is where you're gonna see that in here. And so your session time, some of you are gonna see odd times because it depends upon how many speakers you have. This is also, if you click a speaker's name or author, but at this point you probably want to go with the speaker, you will get their contact information. You will get their name, their email, and their phone number. Um, you can use that to contact them or this contact me is within the system. So here's how you find their contact info, including emails. You might be wondering, I'm just in their papers this year. How do I find a paper? Presentations, again, come down. Let's find one. Planning for the future. You click the title. Then I'm gonna make sure my screen is still sharing. Yep. If you look here, here's the original abstract that was submitted. This presentation right here is what you will click, presentation, and it'll download the paper as the Word document to your hard drive. I encourage you to read it. Um, ignore the fact that it says presentation. That's hard coded by our speaker portal vendor. Um, and I wanted to get these out as quickly as I could, so I didn't want to argue with them about wording. Um, and you click this. Please read them and then discard them. They are not copyrighted and I'm not loving that you guys have to download them and get access to them. So that's how you find your papers. This is, in this example, I am a speaker. This is what your speakers would see. Here's where they come in for their presentation questions, true and false, and their license agreement, again, which they must sign. So that system is there to help you. And again, as a moderator, once people start uploading videos in August, you will be able to access and see. So let's talk about some of those deadlines, right? And to do that, I'm going to go back to our website and download speaker presenter information, speaker packets. Let's open this in a new tab. Let's 
make sure. Sorry, just takes a second to get there. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. Nope, wrong thing. I clicked on the wrong one. Sorry, guys. I'm going to need that. No, I need to close out. Let me try a different one. Ah, here we go. This is our speaker packet. So they have until August 14th to update their speakers. Who's actually giving this presentation? Who's going to be in front of the camera or on PowerPoint and recording for WEF Tech Connect? They can have up to two presenters per presentation. That does not mean two separate videos. It means one joint video with two presenters getting credit. Um, if they're doing that, they need to figure out what format, probably Zoom or Teams or GoToWebinar, something like that, that lets them both. But again, one video, even if we have two people um, as presenters. August 25th is speaker introductions or bios are due, the speaker photo, and the five presentation quizzes, along with um, if you guys want to do your session introduction. We're aiming for the 10th, but I can't promise that we're going to open presentation management on the 10th. I'll let you know. Video draft uploaded to presentation management August 25th. At that point, you as a moderator will be able to go in and go in at any point and check progress. But in particular, we want you to go in and look at the videos. Are they okay? Or did the person make a really weird face? Or are they just looking horrible? Or what's going on? It, not minor things. You know, we're all working at home, a lot of us. There might be a kid in the background, dog barking. Don't have your speakers re record because of that. Holistic, either you can't see them because they don't have enough lighting, or um, maybe the sound quality is absolutely horrific. You want to give them a heads up then. Look for macro, not micro, in this example. Final videos are due September 9th. This is a hard firm deadline. I think this is probably going to be one of the hardest things for people. At West Tech, you know, the presentations, you know, whatever, people always ignored it, right? This deadline, if we don't have a video, being dropped from West Tech Connect, period. On the 10th, I'm going in and cleaning up, and that's that. So, no exceptions. I realize it's around the holiday. Everyone has had notice now. You need to work around that. Presentation license agreement is due the 7th. We will not close it until midnight that night, probably, because it's a holiday. And then we have the usual packet of information and our staff contacts. So that's kind of the resources that we have, hopefully, that will help you. We upload, we update this first page quite regularly. So I want to go on to session info, which you saw already, and I showed you what was in there. But steps to success. I kind of want to go over this because I think this might help you. I'm going to ask you to read very carefully all the messages that Wes sends this year. We have a lot more and in different information to send. And so it's really important that you read through it and you check the website for updates. We are trying to communicate and a lot more. What our policy is, so last week we emailed speakers um, that they could go in and update who their presenter was and put a bio, um, the photo, we sent that email out. And then that same day, we emailed you the moderators and said, hey, we contacted your speakers. Here's some updates. I cannot, because the system does not let me CC you on the exact messages. So what we're trying to do is send a message out to the speakers and then ask, follow up to you as moderators with a generic, hey, this is what we need from you to be doing. Not going to give you the exact message, but a general a lot of times. But the challenge is, this is new for all of us. Trust me, as staff, we're learning our way through too. We don't always have all the answers, as many of you have discovered, but we are really trying. And so the emails sometimes get lengthy. Please take the time and read it. But at the same time, if you have questions, we are here because we are all learning and growing through this. And if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask it because another person's probably thinking the exact same thing. 
So we will be doing training for your speakers next week on Wednesday from 1 or 12 to 1. It will be recorded and it's more about how to give a good virtual presentation, how to kind of overcome the distance, but keep it engaging and dynamic. So I think that will be really helpful. And we are here to work as a team and grow as a team together. Um, I really appreciate all your help. I know this has not been an easy year um, and we're learning as we all go. But if you need anything, again, speakers at WEF.org, we are doing our best to answer. We're just getting a little extra volume right now. I think that's it for me. I hope you all feel free to reach out to us with questions. And um, we look forward to working with you guys in the coming time. Thank you.